In my opinion, the best way to learn Obsidian is going through videos on YouTube because that's how I learnt it. However, a lot of the videos on YouTube get outdated quickly in this playlist, even though it's a great playlist, thank you Nick, uh, this video is over two years old and there's been a lot of developments since then. The basics are still there, but the interface is different, some of the features are different, and some of the options you can do that weren't mentioned are also different, so new users get a, a little bit confused. And because of the vast amount of features that we have in Obsidian, some videos can be rather long. I mean, this one I thought was quite short because I went through everything in uh, just over an hour, but it, this could easily have been a three hour video. And even with all of these topics covered, it still might not have the answer that people are looking for if they're looking for something really small or specific or niche with the Obsidian app. And as much as I love looking through all of these different Obsidian videos and writing related videos, Searching for something really specific is not easy on YouTube. Even though you can get through them fast by putting them on times two speed, you it, it's more fun to go through them than reading text and you get visual explanations, there's still limitations. On the other side of the help information, you've got the Obsidian help docs, which is great for searching through. And you can search through the headings and some of the specific pieces of information, but it's all in text. And that means that going through each of these lessons, each of these things, is just not as fun as watching a video from my experience. And with the official Obsidian help, it doesn't cover all of the community stuff as well, which is when you'd go to the Obsidian Hub, which is essentially the Obsidian help docs, but made by the community, so the Obsidian Hub. But it's a similar sort of issue. When you, when you go in, you, you either need to search, or you need to know exactly what you're looking for to be able to find it. And even when you get there, sometimes it directs you elsewhere or doesn't give you the, exactly the information that you want. It may direct you to something in a Git repo. In an ideal world, the plugin has some help documentation that looks like this, but I mean, this is data view. And when you look at it, it's, it's not a show and tell. It doesn't show you what to do. It sort of tells you this is how to do it. And then you've got to go and replicate it inside of Obsidian, which works. Don't get me wrong. This is how I figured out a lot of data view, but it's, it's still difficult to get hold of. It's not just something you can just see at work and apply it. And that's where I'd use things like the Obsidian Forum, go to the help and ask for help, or look at the announcements or bug reports and things like that. Or go to the Obsidian Discord, which, I mean, yes, it's very, very busy, very hectic, and there's loads of comments going on. So, yes, it's great, you can still get the help through text, but it's not as fun or as intuitive to go through. It can be slower to read if you don't find exactly what you're looking for, and sometimes you'll need help, and you'll have to come to a forum anyway. I am trying to combine these together by linking the videos inside of Obsidian with more written help documentation on my website, but it's it's no like solution, it's just another person trying to help with Obsidian. The benefit for learners and from my experience is you can watch the video, then go in and actually find what it is that you're looking for, or you can click on search and search specifically and then see a related video on how it's applied or whatever it is. The problem is that because Obsidian is so big and the community is so amazing, one person can't keep track of it all. I do my best for my own stuff, but obviously that takes time and effort away from work, and that's where money starts getting involved, and it was the same conversation with community plugins. Community plugins are great, but it takes time and effort and work out of that person's day, so they need some financial support, and Obsidian are focused. They are zoned in on the application, which is amazing. It's just the help docs are a little bit confusing to new users especially i've tried to get some new users in there and they just get overwhelmed so when people ask me in the comment sections and inside of forums how would you suggest a new user getting started with obsidian my go-to response normally is to watch a couple of vault builds or videos of people using obsidian then trying to find a purpose like why do you actually want to use the app if you don't have a reason to use the app you won't learn how to use it why you want to use it or what features you actually need slash want so watch a couple of videos see what obsidian is about then have a use case have a, a purpose for using the tool then go and find the specific answers for the questions you have either through the help documentations the forums through videos or a combination of the three i don't think there is a one-size-fits-all solution to learning a tool like obsidian with far too many features to list they're just a few of my thoughts about how to learn Obsidian, but if you have learned Obsidian, let me know in the comments section below so other people can read. Where did you learn? How did you find out? What did you do? And where are you at your process? Because, I mean, I've been using Obsidian for over two years now, and I'm still learning a lot because there are so many plugins.